and it sounds like he's on the headset now. Hey, Coach, uh, hard-fought battle, and uh, obviously a lot of chances. Just your thoughts on the match. Uh, proud of our kids. I thought they fought very hard. They emptied their tank in the sense of effort. Uh, I don't think that we were quality enough in the services. I don't think we were quality enough in some critical moments. Um, it tell, I mean, we had 12 shots, 12 shots, only four on target. They had nine and six on target. We got to be better. Um, you know, just frustrated that unfortunately we switch off in one moment on a set piece and the one player we can't allow to get free gets free and scores whatever eighth goal of the season, right? And we addressed that all in our preparation going into this. We have to stop 23. We have to stop 23. We have to limit her chances and not allow her, you know, any opportunities. And, uh, you know, she gets one really clean cut chance and, and finishes it. And, uh, you know, now we're frustrated and licking our wounds. But, uh, you know, I know our kids will respond. We'll be ready to go uh, for North Texas on Thursday. Coach, it's still early in the season, so what are some of the positives that you're going to take from this game moving into the next? <laughs> I wish it was early in the season. We got six games left. That's all we're promised. We got four weeks, and uh, you know, at this point in time, we got to take. Yep, yeah, we got to dig in, find the positives that that we can. I thought there were moments of quality where we got the ball wide, we got it taking people one on one, creating opportunities, going the other direction, creating more opportunities tonight than they probably have in the last three games combined. Uh, we just didn't finish them. And so I'm proud of our kids for what they did and how uh, they went about things um, in the sense of, you know, trying to create those chances. But we got to be more ruthless in the goal, in, in, in the box, and finish when we get those chances. Coach, you mentioned that we are sort of running out of time on the season, but, but we see it. The opportunities are there. What's, what's just the, the way to convert those opportunities? Practice, 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 and also a willingness to do what others won't, you know, and, and that's what we've been fighting all season. Uh, goals don't come easy, right? Goals don't come like just, you know, on a platter. Defenses aren't going to give you tons of time to to be able to, you know, get shots off. They're not going to give you all sorts of time and space to make decisions and pick out corners and so on. You know, many times goals that are scored are just simply being scrappy, uh, putting yourself in the right place, getting a toe poke on it, getting a knee on it, getting whatever it takes to get on the end of it uh, to, to be able to, you know, tuck it in. And right now we've lacked that mentality as of late. And we showed a little bit there at the end. Thought Sasha was going to get the equalizer there at the, very, at the buzzer. But, um, you know, we can't wait that long and we can't wait for a center back to go up there and do it for us. Well, thank you for your time, Coach. Safe travels up to Denton later this weekend. We'll see you when we host Tulsa. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.